So in this episode of the podcast, we're speaking to Bruce Campbell. He is a professor of German at the College of William and Mary. Um, he uses his tablet PC in, um, I guess, unconventional ways. He doesn't actually bring it into the classroom, which was actually interesting um, for us. But let's listen to a little bit about how he uses the tablet. Excellent. Mostly I don't bring it into class. Uh, the tablet for me replaces paper. So that I use it in meetings, I take notes on it. I use it now to file all my notes. Uh, obviously I prepare my course materials on it, but when students hand in assignments, I grade them on the PC, on the tablet. So I can write on the screen, I can, I can uh, obviously I teach a language so that I can add diacritical marks, umlauts, I can rewrite sentences, all just as if I were doing it on paper. Then I turn it into a PDF, I send it back to the students, turnaround time is much quicker, and I haven't touched a piece of paper. What's the student's reaction? I think there are a lot of faculty members who try and grade electronically. I'm one of the few who has a tablet. Uh, I was surprised. The students really took it in stride. Uh, I think they appreciate the fact that I lose fewer papers. Turnaround time tends to be quicker, uh, although that's always a problem. Um, I expected a lot more resistance because it's not something they encounter. But in fact, most of them don't bat an eye. Uh, if I have very extensive comments, I can even record them. I don't do that very often. Uh, usually the comments I make are kind of either very quick, and that's with the tablet with the inking function. Longer comments I still do uh, with the keyboard. I'll use the comment feature in, in Microsoft Word. Uh, having the uh, convertible tablet makes it very easy. I, I have both functions there at my fingertips. The biggest advantage for me uh, is that, strangely enough, it, it, it saves time. And it saves time because filing is right on the computer. In the old days I would take notes, come back from a meeting, you've got two or three pages, You've got to put them in a file folder. Sometimes you have to create the file folder. Then it has to be filed in the file cabinet. That took up a lot of time. Very often I didn't do it. And so the paper piled up on my desk. Now it's on the computer. I have it with me all the time. I'm not carrying around a bag full of perhaps two, three hundred pieces of paper. I haven't had much adjusting to do at all. Uh, with Blackboard, I can make an assignment, the students can post it, I can download it all in one shot to the tablet, work at it at my leisure, any place I want. I don't have to be connected to the internet to do it, because I can, again, I download it and save it to the hard drive. Um, so it's, it's actually, the only adjustment is that I have more free time <laughs> 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 to do other things, like the grading that, that has to be done. So you've been using the assignments uh, feature in Blackboard to receive assignments and also to post back to the students? Yes. Posting back is still something of a weak point. Uh, Blackboard lets you download everything in one shot. What I've tended to do is then download it, correct it, turn it into PDFs, which, which is simple procedure when I'm done with, done with a particular paper I just print to PDF and it's done and then, uh, I wish there were a way of loading it all back up to Blackboard in one piece just the way I downloaded it but this is something I can live with. Bruce, particularly difficult handwriting. Uh, I had thought that it would change the dynamic in the classroom. I thought I'd be bringing it into the classroom more but in fact, that didn't happen, and it has to do with the kind of teaching in the humanities. Uh, very literally, w even when I give a lecture, when I walk into a classroom, I have often very little control over what actually comes out. There's much more, it's much more freewheeling, there's much more discussion. I'm usually not conveying a set body of information, so I almost never use PowerPoint, for example. 
I only do it to, uh, to show maps. So that instead of taking in the computer and trying to show maps from the computer, I just put them on a, a memory key. There's a computer in every classroom. So that's something that I thought I'd be doing a lot, using the laptop actually in the classroom. And that hasn't worked for me. It's worked wonderfully for other people. Uh, but it's just it's a different kind of material. I wish I could have an entire classroom of students with tablets. And then I think that there's some software solutions that would allow things to be much more interactive. I'd love to try that. I don't know as if it would fit my kind of teaching, but I'd, I'd love to try something. I would love to try and teach a class with an electronic textbook. You know, I can imagine a class where instead of having a big thick paper textbook that costs now upwards of $150, Everyone would walk in with a tablet or an ebook reader or just their laptop with a textbook on it in an electronic format. I think that could potentially allow me to do things. Uh, on a very simple level, for example, the next time I teach a basic language course, instead of having all those workbooks on paper, there's no reason that couldn't be submitted electronically. There's no reason the students couldn't do any exercise electronically in class if they had a tablet. So I'd love to try that. Uh, whether that's a cost-effective solution for the college or not remains to be seen. Uh, there is another aspect, and you're probably about to ask me about it, and that's uh, sustainability issues. I, I did kind of a back-of-the-envelope calculation. Um, I, I taught a lecture class a couple semesters ago, 35 students. Everything was done electronically, and as a minimum, I saved about 1,600 pages of paper. That's a minimum. It's probably closer to 2,000. Of course, on the other hand, uh, this needs electricity while I'm grading. Uh, pen and paper doesn't. So I don't know what the, what the energy calculation actually is uh, in terms of the bottom line. But I think that there's some real potential. Um, we push a lot of paper in this business. If you look around this office, it's a wash in paper. I think that we can go a long way to reducing that. In terms of the change between a tablet and a standard laptop, it has very little impact on my course preparation. Uh, either I have the time to type up my, my lecture notes or I'm doing them at the last minute on scrap paper. I try to have the time. Uh, research is a different animal. Uh, not only, as with any laptop, can I download and read PDFs on this, I can annotate them. I wish it were easier to cut and paste. Uh, you always should be careful what you wish for. If students could cut and paste very easily from those PDFs, I, we might be in more trouble as it is teaching them good uh, research practices. But for me, I, I would love to be able to read a PDF and not just annotate it, but cut out a chunk and paste it into OneNote, for example, which is an absolutely terrific note-taking tool. Uh, it's, that and the tablet that I use it with are the two things that are still keeping me in the PC world instead of switching over to Mac. Um, frankly, I'd love to persuade my chair and the chair of every committee I sit on, so that's probably 50 people, to pass the notes out in electronic format, the agenda, before we get into the meeting. Right now, I still have to carry paper and a pen with the tablet when I go to a meeting because inevitably somebody will pass something around and I'll want to mark on it. I'm, I'm the chair of the Phi Beta Kappa Selection Committee this year, so I'm getting everybody's letters of recommendation. 95% um, of them have come in electronically. Well, here they are, and again, even though I will have to print out paper copies for the committee so that we can all read them, uh, I'm able to mark them up if I need to on the tablet print them out with the markings, without the markings. Uh, if the whole committee had tablets, again, we wouldn't have to touch a piece of paper. The bottom line is this. 
this is the college's machine. When it wears out and if the college won't buy me a new one, I'll pay my own money. I'll use my own money. I, I like having a tablet. I like being able to open it up and take notes if I want. A grocery list, whatever. Uh, it is just such a, a compelling technology because uh, I don't know a professor who is able to walk around without paper and, and, and something to write with. Well, that's it for today. We want to thank Bruce for participating and join us next time on Teachnology. Mm -hmm.